Hello everybody and welcome to Tree Punch and Brothers Vanilla Minecraft server. My name's Pinter J. So we've been working on a couple extra buildings over here. Uh, I just put in this little house here. It's not too bad. I have a couple little finishing touches to do on it. But for the most part it's finished. I kind of like it. And over here on this side right next to it we're working on this one right here now. Uh, this one I need a bunch more birch trees. And, well, let's see if... Yeah. So I've been playing Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. If anybody's been following our channel, knows that I've been playing that. So, and I've kind of got some inspiration from that as far as medieval structures go. And this was kind of like one of the this one and this other house is kind of like the style of houses that I've been playing in there. Uh, we do need to put in some glass, and like I said, we need a bunch more birch trees. The reason I'm using birch is like as a, just to, I think I said before, just to keep with consist the consistency of the other buildings. And I think I'm not sure if I showed or not. I did finish off that house there with. Uh, birch trees instead of wool. And I added this little thing of logs over here by the blacksmith shop because the blacksmith needs wood, you know, to keep his forge and stuff running or coal. But in this case we're just gonna say that he's using wood. And I'm gonna chop these down real quick like since I have a pretty quick axe. And I'm not gonna worry about building today, but I do want to just get a couple of these extra logs in. And I thought I heard a Zombert. Where you at, Zombert? Maybe he's underneath us. And so let's go and throw these in real quick like. And the reason I like the birch is because in the texture pack, uh, John Smith's, it looks more like, uh, or, you know, some other texture packs, it looks more like, uh, like older wood. Like older wood, uh, planks almost. Let's get, oh, that one went sideways. Don't want that sideways. Let's put that in there. And I'll show you what I mean in just a second here. If it'll transfer over for us. Let's get like that and do that. If it's going to do it, do it. There it goes. Alright, so back to game. Uh, see what I mean? It kind of looks like... Like, uh... Peeling wood planks or something. I think it looks pretty cool. I like the way it looks. The birch looks in this. In the texture pack. So that's one reason I'm using birch. The other reason is I don't really care too much for just the wool. And quartz looks a little strange to me, so... I'm gonna run over here and see if any trees have dropped. Or saplings, I should say. There we go. Got a bunch of those. And replant these, since I'm gonna need a bunch more birch. Plant them all along, all over the place. And maybe a few out this way. And that should be good. And we'll take a sleep, and then we'll go and check out some other stuff that's been going on on the server. Oh, looks like there's one over there. Where is that? That's one. Oh, I guess that was two. Didn't realize there was two there. And yeah, our well turned out pretty well. This <laughs> well turned out well. Looks pretty cool in the texture pack. I like it. Like it, I like it, I like it. Alright, so let's take a little sleep. And, uh, John Boy has been on, and Double D's been working, and they're populating John Boy's little village over there. And he was nice enough, I think I dumped him in a chest somewhere, but he was nice enough to. 
uh, he had a silk touch book and put it on some shears for us and uh, it was nice enough to uh, give those to us so I was able to get some cobwebs down here in the crypt and I threw in like a chest and another chest over there and like a crafting table just to make it look like there's some extra stuff down here so yeah that's pretty sweet that looks pretty cool down here now with the especially in the texture pack looks really cool I like it uh, I might go down I'm probably gonna go down this way or maybe change this here and go down this way and have it somehow connect to the rail system that Sploosh had made and that way we can get back and forth to the laboratory without having to run constantly back and forth. It'll be a little faster for me instead of having to run up the hill all the time and then back down the stairs and I mean not that I mind running through the like this covered bridge here is awesome so it's not not like I mind doing that at all but still it would be a lot faster I think if we could have an underground tunnel of sorts. Oh, that hay looks kind of weird like that. So let's go down into the basement, I guess, and see if anything new has happened. Or the, I should say, the laboratory. A skeleton. Skelly. Nasty skeleton. And it doesn't look like. Well, oh, that was it. Oh, what the heck? Oh, I took damage and it made my thing go all goofy. I'll be right back with you. Alright, and we're back and we got a slime dying over here. Slimes dying everywhere. And it doesn't look like anything new has occurred. Oh. Uh, Got some chickens really loud here. Not sure what this is, so let's turn down our volume here so we can actually hear ourselves. Let's turn those nasty chickens all the way down. And then I can see what John Boy has said here. Two double D. I use the villager breeding as you showed me. I have been seeing the hearts, but the child never is made. Is there something wrong with the breeder? Note, I logged out right in front of these signs on 1121. If you want to leave me a message back, thanks. Okay. I'm not sure how... Yeah, there is a... There's a little guy right there. He's not dropping down for some reason, but... There was... I, I just saw hearts and... Yeah, there's a little fella right there. Is he going to drop down? Should drop down. Maybe he just didn't stand here long enough. There he dropped down. Yeah, there's a little fella right there, John boy. So, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe... Maybe something happened there. I know with like uh, the the little thing over there, like my rendering didn't show, he didn't show up the one time, so maybe, but there's only one guy there that just happened, so must have just happened. Must have just not waited long, quite long enough, I guess, or something. So no, there's nothing wrong with the breeder. He just, the little baby just popped up just there, just as I saw him, so... Maybe he just didn't wait, just didn't wait long enough, I guess, or something. Something happened. All right, let's turn this back up. And let's head over to John Boy's place. Actually, let's, since we're down here, let's head over to Sploosh's place. Oh, we can't go this way. That's right. All right, well, I have to uh, go a different way. All right, well, I'm going to head up over to the top then, I guess. And I'm pretty sure I know who 
left the chickens, and it's okay. I wasn't really mad about the chickens. It just seemed like the prank's been done before, and it's it seemed like repetitive and redundant, I guess. It wasn't a very good prank. I wasn't really, like, super mad about it or anything, so you don't have to worry about... I, I, thanks for the apology. That's appreciated, but you don't really have to worry about it all that much. It wasn't, wasn't that big of a deal. And I know that uh, Squishel and the Flesh of the Rotten was done by Sploosh. So those were kind of clever little pranks. Those were, I like I like stuff like that. That's a little clever and, you know, easy to clean up. Easy to find, easy to clean up, which I still haven't. Neither one, Double D hasn't done anything with Squishel, and I, I don't think we will. But I haven't cleaned up, like, the Flesh of the Rotten or anything either yet, so I think we need to get out this way. And this is all the stuff they've been doing for moving the villagers around. Let me get up, up on the... There we go. Get... Let's go take a look at John Boy's plates. I know he said that he finished off uh, not his last building or his other building, so I want to go take a look at that and see what that looks like. I'm pretty sure he only had one other. Pretty sure he only had one other building that he was gonna do. Okay, so that's that one. Is it that one? Yeah, it is this one. Oh, acacia. Who's the acacia wood? Oh, he's got a guy in there already, too. Nice. This is the toolsmith's shop. Let's see if he's got a guy. Oh, he's got a guy in there. Trading coal for emeralds. I don't have that much coal, but... And, oh, he's got another upper level here. Just a chest so far. Look, it looks pretty nice, though. I like the combination of the dark wood and the the orange acacia. It's pretty cool. So he's got one guy in there. Yeah, it's a nice job on this house. It's pretty cool. And does he have a guy in there? Doesn't look like it. Doesn't have a guy in there yet. Farmer. Looks like he needs a farmer still. Oh, he's got librarian, is that, for clerics? No, clerics place. So, oh, there's that guy. Rotten flesh for emeralds. Nice. So we've got the cleric there, and we have weaponsmith over here. Oh, he's got a weaponsmith, too. Coal for emeralds, okay. And then the last one is armorsmith. And he doesn't have a guy in there for that one just yet. So, pretty cool. Looks like he's pretty much got it all filled out. I think he's just got his walls to finish up there. And he's probably got this place under wraps. I don't know, he might have some other stuff to do. I'm not really sure. Maybe he'll put out a video and explain that sometime. I know that he was having some problem with his teeth, which makes it hard to talk. Any kind of problem with your mouth, throat, teeth, you know, canker sore on your tongue makes it difficult to talk you know it's unpleasant to talk nobody wants to go through that and it makes it hard to make videos uh, does he oh we missed a shop here's the librarian librarian shop oh he does have a librarian too paper for emeralds all right does he have a bed over here somewhere though I don't didn't see a bed kind of want to sleep Maybe there's one in here. Does he have a bed? Yes, awesome. Kind of want to sleep that day away because I think we want to run over to Spoosh's place and take a look at what he's been working on. Let's give you guys a short little tour here. I'm not going to make it a really long video. Just wanted to check out because I know John Boy had said that uh, he was working on this. So we want to check that out. Can I close that? There we go. 
And then is there still water under there? I hope there is. Yeah, it looks like it. Fall to my death. That'd be just great. Okay. And let's... Oh, skeleton over there. And zombies. Oh, set me on fire, huh? Get out of here, guys. Nasty guys. Alright, I think Sploosh's place is over this way. I'm pretty sure we're heading the right direction. Oh, it looks like there's some more spruce trees over here. Wonder who did that. Hmm. Who set up these spruce trees over here? I'm gonna need to eat some chicken. Let's eat some chicken. What, oh, little bunny! I forgot there was rabbits in here. Okay, I wonder if this is just Salem that did that, put those spruce trees there. I don't remember those being there, though. Well, maybe they were. I don't know. It's been a while since I... I don't venture over here that often. Uh, just a little overhang area. Something down there? Nope. Sounds like a skeleton was down there. Okay, let's get going on over here. Mm -hmm. Man, that's a lot of andesite. And... I know he was working on the wall. I think he got all of his sheep wheel done, too. <laughs> and zombie. I think he got all of his sheep wheel. Oh, yeah, he got a little bit more of that wall done. Some wall over there done, too. And I wonder if he has any more of his sheepy sheep bred up. Oh, he got a little ceiling on most of it. But yeah, that's pretty cool. He's got like every different color of sheep in this little sheep wheel here. It's pretty neat. Uh, oh, there's a zombie right over there hanging out. Hey, guy. That's right. Who else is squishing around? Is he underneath me? Oh, no, he's down there. Oh, there's a whole zombie parade. What's going on now? Might want to put some light under here. Just saying. I don't think I have any torches on me either. Or fill it in. Or, oh, I have one torch. And I suppose I could make some more. Or fill it in down here. I'll throw some light in here for now. Unless he wants guys, well, it doesn't look like it though, because he's got torches there. I was going to say, unless he wants guys spawning down here. Alright, so let's go. Now, before we take a look at this, Double D had thought that the chicken thing was done by Sploosh, so he decided to come over and play a little prank on Sploosh. Now, Sploosh, if you're watching this video, if you want some help cleaning it up, we'll help you clean it up. <laughs> Apparently he hasn't been on yet, in other words he would have seen it. So yeah, there's... Uh, 
yeah. So it doesn't look like Sploosh has been on yet. I'm sure he would have killed a, a few of those since then. So, like I said, Sploosh, sorry about that. If you want some help, we'll help you clean it up, no problem. In other words, you have tons of free chicken there. But I think that'll do it for this episode, everybody. Please hit a like, hit a subscribe. And we will talk to you next time.